So there's a notion of uh, second derivatives, or what are also called higher order derivatives if we go beyond second, and this just uh, is, is the concept that since the derivative itself is a function, we can find the derivative of the derivative, which is referred to as the second derivative of the original function. So uh, we have this sort of numbering scheme where we'd say that uh, if f of x is a function, then f prime of x is its first derivative. And uh, what f prime, and then if f, if we want to find its second derivative, what we do is we take the derivative of the first derivative. So that's what we're describing here. We have f prime of x, which is its first derivative. I'm putting it in brackets and then putting a prime around it like that, in front of it like that. So we're taking the derivative of the derivative and we call that the second derivative. We normally write that in this way. We call it f double prime of x instead of f single prime. Similarly, we have f triple prime of x, f prime 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 of x, which is the third derivative of the function. That's just when we take the function's second derivative and take its derivative again. Uh, we can keep going, and these are all called higher order derivatives. It's just that after we get to the third derivative, we don't use the notation prime 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 prime. Instead, what we do is we put uh, the number of the derivative in parentheses in a superscript right there. So you have to have the superscript and you have to have parentheses around it to mean this. If you didn't have the parentheses, that would mean that we were just taking f to the fourth power. We're not. What we're doing is we're taking f's derivative four times. So uh, just as an example of what I mean by this, let's uh, take the function f of x equals 3x to the fifth plus e to the x plus 6 ln x minus 7 and find its first, second, and third derivatives. So uh, here we can take f prime of x is going to equal 3x to the fifth, its derivative is 15x to the fourth, and then the derivative of e to the x is just e to the x, and uh, the derivative of 6 ln x is going to be 6 over x, because remember the derivative of ln x is 1 over x, and then minus 7, that's just a constant, so that's just going to be 0, and that disappears. So f prime prime of x is just going to be the derivative of f prime. So that's going to be uh, the derivative of 15x to the fourth is 4 times 15 is 60x cubed. And then e to the x is its own derivative again. And recall that 6x, 6 over x is equal to 6x to the negative 1. So the derivative of that is going to be negative 1 times 6, or negative 6x to the negative 2. And then I can do this one more time. So f triple prime of x is 3 times 60 is 180. And that's x, x lower the exponent by 1, giving us x squared. This e to the x, once again, is its own derivative. And then here we have negative 2 times negative 6 is positive 12x to the negative third. So there we go. There are the first three derivatives of this function. I just wanted to give you the terminology that's used uh, for uh, second derivatives in various contexts. Um, so uh, let's just suppose that we have uh, y equals x to the tenth. There are a couple of different ways that we can uh, refer to the second derivative of y. One is we can just put two prime symbols after the y and call it y prime prime. Uh, the second one, this is a little bit unusual, but just sort of in the same sense that uh, we would refer to the first derivative as dy over dx, we refer to the second derivative as d squared y over dx squared. I realize that the squared uh, is in different position here and it looks a little bit uh, idiomatic. Uh, there's a reason for this. Uh, the, the exact reason why the squared is in the correct position in both cases may have to wait until uh, the Calc 4 differential equations course before you thoroughly understand what the meaning of that is, but uh, that is the correct notation for the second derivative of y with respect to x. The other thing we can do is in line, we can just write d squared over dx squared and then put the function without referring to y at all. That's sort of equivalent to how I can refer to its first derivative as d over dx x to the tenth like that. So this expression would mean find the, you know, differentiate x to the tenth once. This expression here would mean differentiate x twice. So, uh, and then finally, if we had written y equals f of x, in other words, if I had written something like f of x is equal to x to the tenth like that, uh, then I could refer to a second derivative just as f prime prime of x as I've done before. Um, one, one last example that I'd like to do is uh, find find the first four derivatives of f of x equals sine x. So uh, what we know is that f, if f of x equals sine x, then f prime of x is equal to cosine of x, and f double prime of x is equal to negative sine x. Now, 
f triple prime of x is going to be the derivative of f double prime, so that's going to be negative, and the derivative of sine is cosine. So that equals, sorry, I sort of botched the notation there. So that's going to be negative, the derivative of sine is cosine, is that's just going to be negative cosine x. And then f, the fourth derivative, f fourth of x, f, the fourth derivative of x is going to be negative, the derivative of cosine x is negative sine x, so that's going to be sine x. So the interesting thing here is that this kind of goes around in a cycle of four. It goes from sine x to cosine to negative sine to negative cosine and then back to sine. So it shouldn't be surprising that although the problem didn't ask for it, if I found the fifth derivative of x, that's just going to be cosine x. So we go in kind of this pattern where every four it just repeats. And this is, is going to turn out, uh, especially once we get to calculus two, this is going to turn out to be a fairly important pattern. Um, so. Uh, just be aware of this, that uh, you, know, you can keep taking derivatives as many times as you want, and, uh, and uh, the sine x uh, has this, as well as cosine x, has this very nice pattern where its derivative just, its function, it just repeats itself every four times we take the derivative.